Hey guys and welcome back to the YouTube channel Programming Knowledge. So in today's After Effects tutorial, we are going to see that how can we create a 3D text effect in Adobe After Effects. You all must have seen various animations in which a 3D text is applied. So this 3D text effect is going to add some of the extra dimensions in your project and give your animation a realistic kind of look. Whenever we hear the word 3D, we get curious at how we are going to create. And most of us think that creating 3D animations in Adobe After Effects is going to be quite difficult. It is not that difficult. It is actually very simple. So today in After Effects tutorial, I'm going to tell you that how can we create a 3D text effect in Adobe After Effects. And within 10 minutes, you will be able to see that how can you create a cool looking three dimensional text animation. So first of all, we will preview that what we are going to create. So this is the text animation that we are going to create today. And without taking much of your time, let's see that how can we create it. So first of all, we have to go to composition to create a new composition. Now I'm naming it 3D text. Keeping a frame rate of 30 frames per second and a duration of 5 seconds, I hit OK. The next thing I'm going to do is go to my layer area and add a solid layer. This will be my background layer. So I'm naming it as peachy. The color that I'm choosing is a dark red color with this hexadecimal value. If you want, you can choose the same color, but if you want, you can keep any color of your choice. Then hit OK and your background would be created. Now you can just lock this layer cause we do not need to apply any modifications to it now. The next thing we are going to do is go to the text tool and click anywhere on your composition. Now type in any text that you want to convert to 3D. So I'm keeping it a basic 3D text. Once you are happy with your text, make sure to align it to the center both horizontally and vertically just like this. And for the text, I am using a font called Gotham with a 141 point size. Don't worry, I will share the download link of this font in the description below. Now what we are going to do is just go to this text layer, right click and pre-compose it and name it as text. Hit OK. Now, press P on your keyboard to bring up position. Go to this stopwatch icon and alt click on this stopwatch icon. So you will find this expression tab in front of you. In this expression tab, you have to paste this expression. So just copy it and paste it. If you want, you can note it down from here also. Otherwise, I will share this expression in the description. Now paste this expression over here and you are done. Now what you have to do is make sure that this layer is converted to a 3D. So just check this 3D box over here. And now we have to create multiple copies of this layer. So we have to duplicate it repeatedly. I'm creating about 20 copies, but if you want, you can create more or less depending upon your choice. Now these layers um, will be determining the depth of our text. If you want the text to be very deep, you can just increase the amount of layers. But if you want it to be less deep or a shallow one, you can just keep a few layers. So I'm uh, just duplicating it 20 times. So now I have duplicated this layer around 21 times. Uh, that means total of 22 layers is what I have created. And all of these layers are not 3D. But uh, you can see that this text is not looking 3D at all. So for that, what we are going to do is go to your topmost layer, then go to effects and presets and search for an effect called fill. Now apply it onto your topmost layer and along with it, 
you have to apply it onto your bottommost layer as well. So first uh, we will just go to the topmost layer and just change some of the settings over here. Go to color and change its color so that it complements the color of your other layers. So I'm choosing uh, this color, this uh, brighter shade of yellow and hit OK. Now uh, if you want you can just go back to your uh, bottommost layer and change the fill color of this layer to a pure black. The reason we are doing this is because we want our bottommost layer to act as a shadow layer instead of an independent layer. So we have changed its color to a pure black to act as a shadow. Next we are going to effects and presets and search for an effect called CC Radial Fast Blur and apply it to our bottommost layer. Now this effect is uh, going to make our layer look more of a shadowy layer. You can see that this is uh, appearing. Now change uh, its amount to around a 60. The next thing we are going to do is add a camera layer. So uh, go to your layer area or you can just go to layer, click new and add a camera layer. And now I'm keeping the same settings, hit OK. Now this camera layer will only act on those layers that have been marked as 3D. So grab onto your unified camera tool using C and just adjust it to a position where you can just see your text as 3D or you can see the depth of your text just like this. Now once you are happy with it, you can uh, click on your camera layer. Press P to bring up position, keyframe it. Now move forward to uh, about uh, 3 seconds in time. Here you have to change the position of your camera uh, a little bit like this. Once you are happy, then you can just grab both of these keyframes and hit F9 to easy ease them. Now what we are going to do is select all of our layers except the background layer that is the camera layer and all of our text layers together and pre-compose them and hit OK. So this will be our animation. Now one more important thing that is once your animation is complete and we are completing our animation at around 3 seconds, you can move your stylus or your cursor to here around 3 seconds and hit N on your keyboard. So now your animation will only play for 3 seconds instead of the total duration that we have kept that is 5 seconds. The next thing is very important is how can you just extract this animation from Adobe After Effects. So for that, what we are going to do is once you are happy with your animation, you can go to file. Here you will find an option of export. So as you go there, you will find an option of add to render queue. Just select it. And as soon as you do that, you will see that your current animation is added to your render queue. Now all you have to do is select on render and your animation will start to render and you can always uh, just select the folder in which you are going to just render your animation. So for that you can just go to output to here is the name of the animation and from here you can change the name of your animation as well as the place or the folder where it will be rendered. One more important thing is why did we just uh, pre-compose our text layer? So if we just open our pre-composition, this is a text pre-composition. If we just open it, here is 3D text. So if we just change it to um, any other text, like if I change it to animation, Uh, all of our text animation that we created with 3D text is now applied on the word animation.
So once you pre-compose your text layer, any changes that you can make to your text layer, then it would be reflected. So I hope you all have enjoyed this tutorial. If you do, please let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And keep watching the YouTube channel Programming Knowledge for more such tutorials. Till then, bye-bye.